on Divorce Court Today. Jasmine and Edward met in high school, had a baby, and got married. Their young lover's bliss quickly faded into fights involving fists, broken car windows, and pepper spray. Jasmine Bonton and Edward Barton have brought their dispute for Judge Lynn Toler to resolve. Testimony in divorce court starts now. Ms. Bonton, you are looking for a divorce from Mr. Barton, and you want $5,000 in compensation for a couple of things, but that's not what really interests me in the beginning. What I understand is that you gave birth to a baby girl less than three weeks ago, but Mr. Barton has yet to see her. How did that happen? He has not seen his baby because when I was nine months pregnant, eight and a half, nine months pregnant, he took my phone, reported it stolen. He took my car that he bought for me. We had two separate cars. He took my car keys and basically left me stranded to where I couldn't call if I went into labor. I have a three-year-old son. He left us stranded. He doesn't care about us. He cares about himself. What precipitated that? Was there an argument that led up to him leaving like that, or was that something you believe he had planned long term? Oh, no. Well, it started when he went out uh, to the club 3 o'clock in the morning, came home, slept on the couch, didn't even get back in our bed. I took his SIM card out of his phone to check the pictures from to see if he had some pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, he found out I had it. We got into a big tussle. He's trying to take the phone from me. I'm mushing him out. Basically, he manhandled me and got the phone. So now, you're he... nine months pregnant, right, at this yes, time? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant, time, uh -huh. At this time. And uh, he took the car, my car keys. Uh, I broke his speaker. It was just, it was, it was just, just a mess. It was, it was just a, a mess. It was a hot, crazy mess. I ended up going to jail that day because I broke the back of his window of our new car. It was our car because we bought it together. But I broke the back of his window. He called the police. I don't know what he told them. Is that what you did? That's what I did. You're a strong lady. It was a, a heavy-duty um, flashlight. So it, the flashlight did a lot of the work, too. <laughs> Mr. Barton, is that an accurate recitation of the story that precipitated your departure? Um, she has always had an anger problem. Right. She's done things like this all the time. That's just the furthest that she's taken it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not out of character window. for her. But no, 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 not that, not that. But when she did that, then I basically just, I was, emotionally, I was already slowing down, but that shut my emotions down. Completely. That was just it. Now, when you, when you left, what did you take with you? So I stayed in the home. Uh, she explained that I took the car. Oh, right. She explained that I took, uh, turned off her phone and everything, but that's not the whole thing. See, she's manipulating it. She didn't explain that I, after I finally told her that I just, I, you know, want a divorce, gave her what she was asking for, I told her she can stay um, in the apartment. She wasn't paying anything. She's not mm -hmm. working. I said she can stay there until the lease is up. She can keep the car. She can keep the phone. Um, I just asked for a few things. Uh, keep right. the house clean. No fight, no arguing, because we're not together anymore. Right. She didn't fight. But you were still she, staying there. But we're there still living in the same house. Because you couldn't afford to be apart. She couldn't afford to be apart. I got you. And I wasn't going to kick her out. Right. So... It was the fight about your SIM card. It started with my guy friend spending the night in my son's bedroom. That's how con controlling she is. One of my best guy friends that she knows that was at our wedding Spent the night, the night before. Your Honor, he initially told me that somebody slept in our bed. When I said, did somebody spend the night here? He said, yeah, and they slept in our bed. And I'm like, why the you know what is your friend sleeping in our bed? Yeah. And he didn't let me stay. He told me in June that if I didn't pay $500, remind you, I'm eight months, well, no, he told me in May. I'm eight months pregnant. If I didn't pay $500 starting July, that I'd have to get out. Me and my and our son, our three-year-old son, have to leave. So he did not let me stay. He, he switched up real fast. Well, now, let, let me uh, back up and, and go to something that I missed in the beginning. Mr. Mr. Wynn, I, di I didn't acknowledge you, and I'm sorry. Mr. Wynn, you are Ms. Bonton's father, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and my understanding is you have some direct evidence with respect to what occurred between the two of them. Is that accurate? Yes, ma'am. Would you please come forward? I want you to tell me what you've seen him do. The most outrageous story that would make me think, oh, my, 
What has she gotten into? Okay, the situation with the car, uh, the SIM card. I kind of got the tail end of it, but the uh, the complete end of it was he had his wife arrested and put in jail because his back window was busted out. Now, he didn't tell that he pepper sprayed her. She didn't have him arrested for that. He pepper sprayed her in the in earlier on in their marriage. Did you actually pepper spray your wife? It, it was an incident that happened at our old house uh, where she was getting abusive, and I picked up some pepper spray. I told her, if you hit me, I will spray you. So the answer to that question is so, yes, you no. did pepper now, spray. Now, I got her in the back of the neck, not the face. The way she made it seem, that's what I mean by manipulating. The way she made it seem was that I got her in the face. Her whole family was mad at me, but it was the back of the neck. What? Didn't have to go to the hospital. Let's let me tell you something. My husband can't pepper spray nowhere in my direction. He can't on, pepper spray Thank my you, toes. Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Because he's my Thank husband. You. And he's supposed to protect me. But Thank let me you. ask you this. When the police came out, it sounded like a mutual combat to me. And in my jurisdiction, they used to say, now look, does anybody, if it's mutual combat, you either gotta pick somebody to go. Did you pick her? So that's the thing. That's, the, that's where the manipulating is. There was no mutual combat. I was on the defensive mode the whole time. The reason why they took her is because I had to watch my son while she was out there doing that crazy mess. I had to stay did inside. Did they see her him. do that mess? They didn't see her do it, but she admitted it. She didn't deny it because she did do it. I didn't go to jail for vandalism. It was community property. They it's said they couldn't take me. It's on, it's on the It wasn't record. child endangerment yeah. because yeah. Child you said... said child endangerment. Yes. I let he them know what happened. I let them know that I had to stay in the house watch my son. That's why I couldn't stop her from doing it. I never touched her back. I called the police. They decided to take her to jail. They said, mm -hmm. they asked me if I want to press charges. I said, no, I just want her to know that what she's doing, those type of things, is not okay. It's not, it's not cool. But how is child endangerment leaving my son in the house with his because father? Because if I went out there while he was out to stop her, he would have been alone. Nobody would have been watching. But you and he could have got into something. That's what I mean. Next, did Jasmine's father prevent Edward from seeing his new baby? And what happens when Edward sees his child for the first time? Your mama warned you not to marry your mate. If she was right and divorce is your best option, call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt.
broken relationships, real solutions. Divorce Court continues. We've been talking a lot about hooping and hollering and carrying on, but I think the most important thing that has uh, evolved from this relationship is that baby girl. And my question is, why hasn't he seen her? Has he tried and failed or simply failed to try? I could say a little bit of both. Uh, I believe, you know, he's been sending me messages on Facebook. The only reason he sent me messages is because he knows we're coming to court and he needs to have proof that, oh, yeah, I did try to see my daughter. He doesn't care about me or his kids. When we're at home, he doesn't have any interaction. Did he know when you went into labor? Did you inform him? I didn't call him. He took my phone in my, in my, in my car. If you wanted me to contact you, then you should have never turned my phone off and reported it. Did you turn the phone off? I did. I did. Now, that's the thing. She, she's not telling the whole story. At eight months pregnant. Well, what efforts have you made to see the baby girl? Well, do you even know how I found out that she had the baby? How did you find out she had I the baby? I was at work two weeks ago and got an email saying that my dependency has changed due to a new dependent's birth. Didn't know that she was in labor. Didn't know the baby's name or anything. What wasn't there. I had to call them to find out what the name was, when the birth date was, and everything. Why didn't you That's... call the man and tell him he had a new child? Just all due to the reason, because you, you kicked me out at eight months pregnant. You don't want to see your kids? If you want to see your That's, kids, then you no, should... no, the he, least. He kicked you out at eight months pregnant, even if that, that happened that way, which I'm not altogether sure it was just the way you say, because he was mad then. Yes. You, and you put the thing through the window because you were mad then. Yes. That does not speak to he doesn't care about his kid. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, the two just, separate things. It's, the action, it's his actions that shows he no interaction with Levi. The reason why I'm not... That I said no to him, Levi living with him, one, because there's no interaction. He'll come home from the gym. Levi will be all in his face. Levi, move, go away. Just, he don't want to be bothered by Levi at all. Like, no interaction. Is Levi his? Yes. That Mr. Is... Wynn, let me ask you, because you're a grown person. What efforts did Mr. Barton use to see the baby? Okay, Your Honor, um, he, he's texted me. He's texted my wife. Uh, but the way he texts me and the way he texts my wife, he was very disrespectful. What Number, kind of things would he say? He would say, uh, I, he contacted my wife first, text her talking about, I want to see my kids. Uh, it was kind of a threat, the way he said it. Uh, you know, a, a man can do some uh, dangerous things if he don't see his kids. Now, when he had the opportunity, when he was with the, his kids, he never really spent time with them. Jasmine was always taking care of the Levi. Caretaker. He would work, uh, go to the gym, and that was it. I, I got it. Did you write an email anywhere that sounded anything like, you know, a man can get dangerous when he doesn't see his kids? I'm angry. I'm depressed. Mm -hmm. So most likely, yes. Yeah. Um, am I trying to threaten them? No, but I'm trying to let them know the severity of the situation. I haven't seen my baby that hasn't, that's been born. Yeah. I just want to see my daughter. Do you know, threatening people ain't the way to get that no, done. Not at all. You know but what I mean? I try the nice way too, and that doesn't work. So I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm stuck. You want to see her now? Yeah, I, I want to see her. Now. I, I don't have her for real, I wish. Because I'm, I'm a baby hog. You may not get her back. But uh, <laughs> there she is. What's her name? Leilani. Leilani. Leilani Barton? Yes, I, I have enough respect to give his kids. Their last name, his last name. Let me you know, tell you he something. is a drama king. This is this, this is drama. Miss Barton, you gotta you gotta give the man this. I have no I was excited when this, uh, this when is she was pregnant. I was excited. He has a previous daughter. He said he never wanted her. He said he never exactly. wanted Levi. I did say but he names, wanted her. But I was you can't pick and choose her. what kids you want. Right. I have no sympathy for I, I, I understand what's going on. You, know, you want this baby, though. But then when I was pregnant with his child, if I want to go out, I'm not taking you nowhere looking like that. But I'm carrying your child, but you want her so bad and you want to see her. Please. I don't, I'm not... That doesn't move me. I got you. I got you. When divorce court continues, could her father's advice have saved Jasmine from this heartbreak? Do you think Jasmine will allow Edward to have regular visits with their child? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call now.
If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and join the conversation on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court continues. Mr. Wynn, I'm going to invite you to have a seat. Thank you very much for the voice of wisdom. Ms. Martin, uh, next time your daddy says something, would you please listen to him? He's a rational individual. He told you not to get married for a reason. Yes. And I don't know if it's because he didn't like him or he thought you were too young, but for whatever reason, you should have listened to him. You were not old enough. You're still a girl. You haven't pushed into womanhood. Making a baby doesn't make you a woman. It's being able to handle circumstances, situations when you are angry, upset, or jealous, still not to behave in a manner that is unbecoming Mm -hmm. humanity. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes, And I'm speaking to you as well. I mean, your your daddy isn't here, so I can't point to him and say, listen, but, but, but both of you need to do a little, little better. You're asking for a couple of things. Yes. $2,500 for clothes. Yes. That you say he destroyed. And you're going to tell me about those circumstances. You also want $2,500 in emotional distress. Yes. Let's talk about the emotional distress first. Typically, in a, in a circumstance like this, you know, uh, marriage is full of all kinds of emotional distress. <laughs> and, and, I mean, if we were to start exchanging money every time somebody distressed the other one, it would be like a washing machine of cash going back and forth all day long. But I am going to give you an opportunity to convince me that there were acts so deliberate and purposeful and, 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 and harmful on his behalf that you do, in fact, deserve uh, compensation for emotional distress. Um, the, the pepper spraying incident, yes, I was. I'm not here trying to play the victim. I was abusive to him, but our son was... <laughs> I was. Our son is less than one, and you pepper spray me, and you take my phone. And I have to go to our neighbor's house and call my mom. Like, mom, okay. can you come and get me? And you just you let admit me that you start the stranded. physical stuff, though, don't you? Um, yes, you don't because you? he's more um, abusive with his with verbal, and I I use my hands. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Judge Lynn Toller's ruling next. It's time for you to call 1-800-282-1991 to answer today's question. You'll receive some valuable offers. Call now.
Divorce Court. Judge Lynn Toler's ruling right now. I understand the nature of the, of the dynamic in the household, and so I'm prepared to make a ruling with respect to the emotional distress. I would, however, like you to address the uh, clothing or other items you say he destroyed of yours. So, June 3rd, my father and I, we went back to the house, our house, where my name is on the lease. Mm -hmm. I went to go get the rest of my clothes. I went to go get the baby's crib, and I went to go get the, the baby's car seat. So I got all the baby stuff. When I went to our room, to my side of the closet, everything was gone. So I'm like, okay, he done moved my stuff. Went downstairs, not in the downstairs closet. Went in our son's room, not in his closet. Looked on the balcony. My stuff is not in that house. Mr. Barton, do you know where her stuff is? In the house. If she would have called me, communicated, oh. instead of not, instead of ignoring me, I would have told her exactly where it was. It's upstairs in the closet right next to our son's room. She didn't look in there, obviously. She just didn't, she also didn't mention it. It's right in there. So later on in June, I text her family and I said, I have Jasmine's things. I'm gonna bring them to the house for you. I gotta respond. If you come to my house, I'm calling the police, you or anybody representing you. That's the type of treatment I was Did getting. that happen? He said he was gonna dump all my clothes on the line. If they didn't but that means he's father. got them, though. But I'm like, how do you... If they that didn't... means he's got them. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? I thought he was just doing that because he knew I was there. He knew that mm -hmm. I seen my clothes missing. So he's just trying to cover his bases. No, no, no that, that happened. I, can, believe, I believe he's got him at the house. She I believe he's got him at she the house. She still has the key to the house. She's still on the lease. I, I said, if you don't want to be with me, get your name off the lease. But she's trying to hold something above no, me. I don't I know okay, I, 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 I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Ms. Bonton, I'm not going to give anything, you anything but your freedom. And I'm going to tell this to you. You spend all your time feeling victimized when you start to crazy. He's not off the hook, because I'm going to fuss at him in a second, but I'm fussing at you right now. Mm -hmm. You have children when you're not ready. You didn't listen to your parents about, hey, you're not mature enough, you're not ready. And then you enter in the marriage with the mind of a high schooler about taking out his SIM card when he's sleeping, all that kind of nonsense. That conduct will never get you anywhere. And he won't be the problem. The next guy is going to have the same problem with you because you put hands on. You can't put hands on. Just can't do it. Does, it doesn't resolve anything. I'm, I'm sure you can't do it much damage, but that's not the point. Mm -hmm. It's still illegal. It's yes. still arrest worthy, and it has no value. Yes, I've learned Other that. than setting off little tornadoes in your kitties' heads, because they don't know when the, when, when the furniture is going to start to move. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. You, you with me on that? Yes. Listen to your father. Be mature. Wait. Don't go and get the next guy. Raise these kids. Get your education together. Get your head together. Get solid. Get together. Go to church with the man. Something. <laughs> but you don't need to move on to the next guy. You need to just center yourself. Oh, yes. Mr. Barton, how dare you? I don't care how flagrant your wife is being. You don't leave her without access to a car and to a phone when she is in a condition where she could be, be harmed. I think that she starts a lot of mess, but you're just as childish as she is. And as the man in the home, the protector, the guy that's supposed to be the, the thing that stands between her and her all harm, it's even worse. You need to let him see his child, but you need to do so under supervised circumstances until you're comfortable. Yes. And you need to go to court and put that in writing, okay? Yes, ma'am. Both of you need to be able to sit down with a mediator because you have two children. You got me? Yes, I, I don't have no problem with him seeing his kids. It's just not gonna be, you're not gonna dip and dab in my kids' life. Because you're be gonna consistent. get a court order that yes. specifically designates it, and hopefully you can do that through a mediator so you can both say, this'll work, this won't work, and then get a judge to sign off on it right now. Do you hear? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand? But in the meantime, in between time, uh, with respect to the $5,000, there will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. <laughs> Jasmine and Edward have agreed to a visitation scheduled for their children and are trying to treat each other nicely. Post a comment or submit your case at divorcecourt.com or call toll free 1-877-311-2222. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Divorce Court.